Hi everyone. Welcome back to Frappe School. This is the 6th chapter of our inventory management course. In this chapter, we will be discussing delivery notes and packing slips. By the end of this chapter, you will be able to understand what is a delivery note, what is a packing slip, and how to create them in ERP next. Once you have manufactured or procured the goods required to fulfill a sales order, you are ready to send the goods to your customer. This can be done in ERP next with delivery notes and packing slips. A delivery note is a document that records the delivery of goods from your warehouse. It therefore reduces the stock from your warehouse. Delivery note is an optional document and is usually given to the transporter to show what is being sent in the shipment. Delivery note is also helpful to record partial deliveries. A packing slip is a document that is sent in each package or box being delivered. It shows the contents of a package including the quantity and weight of items being sent in the package or box. Let's see how to create delivery notes and packing slips in ERP next. A delivery note is made when a package is shipped from our company's warehouse to the customer. It contains a list of items that are being delivered and updates the inventory accordingly. A delivery note is usually created from a submitted sales order. Let's go to the sales order list and open a submitted sales order for which we want to create a delivery note. Here we can go to the create button at the top and click on delivery note. As we can see here, this will open a new delivery note with the customer details and items fetched from the sales order. We can add any other details we want and then save and permanently submit this delivery note. We can also create a delivery note manually by navigating to the delivery note list from the stock module or by searching for it in the awesome bar. We will first have to select a customer. Then we can use the get items from button to select a sales order linked to this customer. We can select multiple as well. Once we select the sales order, we can click on get items. The items table will be populated with all the items in that particular sales order. Once the items are added, we can add some other important details. First, we can set the source warehouse for this delivery. Let's add it here. Next, we can add taxes or charges that are applicable here in the taxes and charges section. We can even add the transporter's information here in the transporter info section. We can then check and add other details like discount, terms and conditions, commissions, etc. We then save and submit this delivery note. Pick list is also an important concept we should know about from where we can create a delivery note. A pick list is a document that shows which items should be taken from our inventory to fulfill pending orders. We can access the pick list in the stock module or search for it using the awesome bar. Here we can see a list of all existing pick lists created in the system and we can add a new one by clicking on the add pick list button here. The company field will be already filled. We will need to set the purpose field that is why we are creating this pick list. There are three options here. The material transfer for manufacture option will let us select a work order from which raw materials will be fetched to add to the list. If we select this option, we will select the work order and then we will have to add the quantity of finished goods for which we need raw materials. The second option is material transfer. This option will let us pick a material request for which 
we want to pick items the third is delivery this option is used when we want to add items from a sales order and deliver them for this example let's select delivery note and add a customer next if we want we can select a parent warehouse here which will then only let us select warehouses that are listed under that particular parent warehouse once we select this we can click on the get item locations button to get the warehouse selection for each item in the item locations table we can add the items with their stock and warehouse details we can also edit and check them by clicking on the edit button for any item once done we can save and permanently submit this pick list once we submit we will be able to see an update current stock button which will update the inventory according to the submitted pick list we can create a stock entry using the create button here we can also create a delivery note from the pick list we just submitted once we click on the delivery note under connections tab it will create a delivery note from here we can save and submit it now let's move on to packing slips a packing slip is a document that lists all the items in any shipment it usually goes along with the goods shipped and is created from a delivery note multiple packing slips can be created from one delivery note let's create a packing slip from a delivery note now this delivery note has to be in a draft stage and not submitted let's go to the delivery note list and open the delivery note from here we can go to the create button at the top and click on packing slip this will open a new packing slip with the items fetched from the delivery note where we can edit items as per our needs if the total items from a delivery note are being divided into multiple packages then we can define these package numbers in the from package number and the to package number fields next we can add the package weight details the net weight is calculated automatically according to the sum of all item weights and the gross weight includes packaging material weight we will even define a unit of measure here lastly if we want to add a letterhead for this packing slip we can select it here in the letterhead section once done we can save this packing slip we can even create a packing slip manually by navigating to the packing slip list we can click on add packing slip then we can select a delivery note from which we want to fetch items and the other details as we did before this brings us to the end of the 6th chapter of inventory management i hope this helped you understand how to create a delivery note and packing slip in erp next in order to deliver goods to the customer you can learn more about erp next on docs.erpnext.com in the next chapter we will discuss traceability of inventory thank you